Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you how I upholster this flat and hard stool into something cushioned and more comfortable to sit on. This is actually one of four stools that came with a modular coffee table I bought online. I'll talk about the entire set in a separate video, but for today, I'm going to focus on applying upholstery on the chairs. Let's do this! This is the area I'm going to apply upholstery on. There are two key materials I'll be using for this project. First is this 10mm thick 1x4 meter PE foam insulation, which I bought for 360 pesos or about $7. This will serve as the seat cushion. Second is a 1x1 meter synthetic leather or vinyl fabric, which will serve as the protective cover for the foam. I got this fabric because of its water-resistant property and because it is easy to clean with soap and water. Features which I think are perfect for furniture where food and liquids are likely to spill on it. I got this for 90 pesos or about $1.75. And both upholstery materials are more than enough to cover four of these tools. So let's start by separating the seat from its legs by unscrewing four of these cam locks. If you want to learn more about cam locks and how they work, you can watch my video on cam locks or locking screws explained by clicking the card on the upper right, or if you don't see it, check out the links in the description below. With the seat facing down, I place it on top of the foam. I trace the outline of the seat. Then, it's as simple as cutting the outline with a pair of scissors. Then I line up the foam and seat to check if they have identical dimensions. At this point, I decided to add a second layer of foam because I felt 10 millimeters of cushion won't be enough to deliver the sitting comfort I'm aiming for. So I cut another layer of foam using the same process as before. And now I have two of these. And when I stack them together, I think it's a much better thickness than just having a single layer. Now I'm going to glue all three pieces together with this contact cement. And I cut this piece of foam to use as my applicator. I just pour the product on the seat using a pattern that's easy to spread later on. By the way, this 250 milliliter bottle of adhesive costs about 70 pesos or $1.36. And I bought all of my materials, this adhesive, the foam insulation, and the vinyl fabric from our local shoe supply store. But if you don't have a shoe supply store in your area, you could also try your local arts and craft stores, upholstery shops, school supply stores, bookstores, or even online shopping platforms. Anyway, the goal at this point is to spread the adhesive as evenly as possible across the surface and leave minimal to no lumps. Then I place the first layer of foam on top and slightly tap it in place all the while making sure that the edges and corners of the two pieces are flushed. Flip it over and press with slightly more pressure. For the second layer, I just repeat the procedure. Now that I have achieved the right thickness for the cushion, it's time to cut our fabric cover to size. Be careful to avoid areas with stains or some discoloration that might be hard to solve later on. So once I have chosen a good spot, I flip over the entire fabric and set the seat on top which is also upside down. 
I temporarily reattached the leg to the seat and with the same whiteboard marker, I mark the perimeter where the legs touch the seat. I'm doing this because I do not want my fabric to go beyond the sides of the legs and these markings will serve as some sort of border. By the way, because the seat surface is made of laminate, I can easily rub off the markings later on. But if your seat is made of wood, then I suggest using a pencil instead. Factoring the thickness of the seat, which is about 3.5 centimeters by now, I trace and cut 9 to 10 centimeters away from all the sides. This is a staple gun or gun tacker, which is what I'll be using to secure the fabric all around the seat. To start, I fold about 3 to 4 centimeters of the fabric on one side and make a crease. Then I line up the center crease to the center marking on the seat and staple it in place. Then I line up the left crease with the left mark, then staple. Then do the same to the right. Now that the fabric is neatly lined up on this side, I can staple all out. Okay, sometimes certain spots are too hard for the staple to go all the way through. So with a long nose pliers or even with a flathead screwdriver, pry it out and restaple. But on a slightly different spot or angle. On the opposite side, I do the same exact steps but with one key difference. I pull the fabric as taut as possible before lining up and stapling its center, left, and right creases. Only then can I go all out with the rest of the staples. By the way, it is possible to do this just by using a typical office stapler. But using a staple gun like this makes the task easier and gives you lesser fatigue. For this side, I fold and staple the fabric this way, much like wrapping the corners of a birthday present. Okay, I know there are many other ways and techniques to do upholstery and how the corners can be folded, but since this was my first time, I went for what I felt was easy and simple for me. What is important is that everything is fastened nice and tight. For the final side, I do the same exact process. What I will say though, is to be very conscious where you staple. For example, there should be no staple here. But only in this area where the center fold will later conceal it. So when the stool is right side up, no staple can be seen along the sides. As a safety and quality check, I run my fingers along the staples, feeling for anything sticking out that may cause an injury. A good insurance is to use a hammer to pound everything down even further. Which makes all the staples even more flushed with the fabric. Finally, I reattach the legs and secure the pieces with the cam locks.
one down, three more to go. And after completing all four, this is how everything looks like. This is Handyman007. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.